Okay, a little bit of construction detail on this thing. What you can see is actually it's attached to a brushless DC motor, and that motor magnet is quite big. It's actually about that size. And what that means is we've got the tiny area of disc here in order to create enough torque to overcome that magnetic cogging that we've got in there. And it's not much of a, uh, an area. So if we put the magnets closer to the center and make the discs bigger, we'll get a much more efficient machine. But this is what I had available, so this is what I knocked up. Now that lip there is critical, both its angle and its size. When you get that lip right, then even an inefficient machine like this is going to turn on the hairdryer, which is kind of cool, really. Uh, but we put that together because we had these bits and pieces lying around. Now, this is the bigger one, and on this one, if I show you the back, then we have a set of six coils here. These coils are wound up in pairs, so we have a, a set of three pairs where we get a north and a south. And you see the magnets are actually directly under these islands here. So they're much closer to the centre and the discs are much larger. So it's much easier for those discs to turn past those magnets and we get a more efficient machine this way. Now this is um, just mild steel as the core, which is pretty bad because we're getting a lot of eddy losses in there. If we replace that with ferrite, which is what we're going to do on the next version that we make, then um, we'll get a much more efficient machine again. Now, we've wound it up in what's called a Y configuration, so we've got our outputs here. I'm just taking our outputs straight off and pulling them off of there. But it works exactly the same way as the smaller one that we saw. We get that spinning, but because it's so large now, it has quite a lot of momentum, and it's quite easy to spin by hand, which is why the hairdryer will spin it actually relatively quite quickly. And it can exhaust only out of these ports here. And if we put a case around this and get that angle right, then again, we'll get a much more efficient machine. Um, but this one really demonstrates the difference in size and the distance of the magnets that isn't demonstrated in this one. But still, that's how you, I'm plan on going around making these things. And um, Steve is at the moment working on prototype version 3. We also tried this, where we had this prototype. And here you can see we're using an Evolute design, snail shell, working on the idea that the volume of air would come in and be reduced and would go that way. This is actually better as a pump, um, not as a turbine, and that Evolute actually didn't work nearly as well as this design here. So the Evolute design isn't as efficient as this lift design that we've got there. So we're going to stay with the lift and leave, uh, leave off the Evolute. Anyway, hope that was interesting, and uh, speak to you soon.